coming up on tomorrow's teachings. And you, you never dare for me, ever! But you deserve someone who stands up for what's right. Let's go back to your place. Is the food ready yet? Just about, babe. Well, can you hurry up? You know I don't like to eat past seven. Yeah, I know. I'm just playing it right now. And finish. Ooh. Happy anniversary, babe. I love you. Are you trying to poison me? This tastes like cancer. No, I... I, I wanted to make you something. I. I wanted it to be special. Why couldn't you just get Chipotle like I told you? I'm sorry. I, um, I can make you something else. No, no. I don't want anything. You completely ruined the night. Can you just make me a bubble bath? I just want to relax. Okay, yeah. Oh, I almost forgot. I got you something. Come on, this way. What did you get me? Okay, it's a surprise now. Close your eyes. Don't open them yet. Hold on. Hold on. Almost. Okay, now. What do you think, babe? Are you kidding me? What? You got me a Lexus? Are you freaking kidding me? Really expensive. This was all I could afford. I specifically told you I wanted a Porsche and you get me a Lexus? I thought this would make you happy. You know what would make me happy? If you took it back and bought me a Porsche. Babe, come on. You know I can't afford a Porsche. Then why can't you, like, make more money? A man should be making $100,000 a month minimum. Deshaun was right about you. You're a little boy. Do you know how hard I've been working? How much that Lexus cost me? 80 grand. <laughs> Your anniversary gift. I do everything for you because I love you, because I want a family with you, and because I want to be with you forever, and I mean that. And it hurts me to know that I don't get that same love back, because I try so hard to be there for you, and you, you're never there for me, ever! You get what I'm saying, Kelsey? Why'd you yell at me? I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't mean to make you cry. I, you monster. Oh my God, I'm, I'm so, so sorry, Kelsey. That, that was a mistake. You don't love me. No, no, I, I love you so, so, so much. Then why did you yell at me? I, I didn't mean it. I, I don't know where it came from. I'm sorry, okay? I'm just gonna call Deshaun to come pick me up. What? Babe. I can't trust you, you yelled at me. Babe, just look at me, okay? That was a mistake. And I won't ever do that to you again, I promise that. And I'm so sorry. And I love you so, so much. Just, just please listen to me. Okay, I'm under a lot of stress. I'm just gonna go to bed. Yeah, okay. Who's this Sean? Don't worry about it. It's just my girlfriend. The Sandra. Okay. Breaking news. Global tensions escalate as North Korea launches a series of missiles, initiating an invasion of Russia. Simultaneously, Germany launched an unexpected attack on the United States. The world is in the throw of World War III. Citizens over the age of 18, this is a critical moment. Governments worldwide are mobilizing forces. And if you are eligible, you may be drafted to serve. This is a call to duty, and refusal is not an option. The world needs your help 
to face this unprecedented threat. What's all this fuss about? Can they handle their own problems? Kelsey, this is serious. Adolf Hitler is still alive. I might get drafted. This seriously better not mess up my plans. Plans? This is a big deal. Whatever. Hitler has come to the United States and activated these Nazis. I'm gonna miss you, Kelsey. But I promise I'm gonna come home. You're leaving? So typical of you. This isn't about me. World War III is happening right now, as we speak, and they're coming to get me tomorrow. I need you to understand, Kelsey. This is beyond us. I'm going to war, and I need you to be strong for me. Whatever, Ben. Just go. Leave me. Hello, Mrs. Smith. I'm Lance Cole. We regret to inform you that we are going to be taking your son with us today. I'm sorry, sir. I don't think that's going to happen. Well, I'm sorry, but it's mandatory. We have a war going on, and we need all the help we can get. So we will be taking your son with us today. Please come in, Lance. Thank you, ma'am. Please have a seat. I'll go get to Sean. Thank you, ma'am. As you can see, Deshaun cannot go to war. He's retarded. I'm sorry, Mrs. Smith. I, I, but we had no idea. There wasn't anything on his records about him being disabled. We, we didn't know. I, I, I'm sorry. Yes, yes, that's because it just happened. Deshaun was out with his friends at night, and he tripped and stumbled down some stairs, and he hit his head. The doctor says he's going to be a vegetable. He's autistic now. <laughs> That's okay, that's okay. Oh, calm down, Deshaun, that's okay. I'm so sorry. Uh... It's okay, Deshaun, it's okay. God is on our side. That's all that matters. Well, <clears throat> um, I think I should be going now. Um, very sorry for the inconvenience. Good luck with the war. We won't let you down. Hoorah! We did it, Ma. I don't have to go to war. Like taking candy from a baby. Yeah. 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 Oh, I forgot my pen. You're faking it? You're not taking my son. I can't believe you had the guts to say no to the draft. It takes real courage to stick up for yourself. Well, Kelsey, I believe in making choices that align with my principles. I couldn't let them dictate my life like that. Exactly. Unlike my ex, Ben, he just let them take him without a fight. It's like he had no backbone. You know, some people just go with the flow, I guess but you deserve someone who stands up for what's right. That's why I appreciate you, Deshaun. You're not afraid to make your own decisions, and I find that really attractive. You know, I just believe in living life on my own terms. So hot. Let's go back to your place. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm doing some renovations right now. There's construction going on. Let's go to yours. Well, I don't have a house. We could go to my ex's. He's gone, and I have the keys. Sounds good to me. Let's go, let's go! They're behind us! Come on, man! Let's go! Shit! Run, 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 run! 
Man, it's slippery. I will not let them take our lives. Come on. Stay down. Shit. They're right behind us. Let's go. Into the rush. Into the rush. Stay down. Stay quiet. Shit. I think we're okay here. Weiter. Die Amerikaner müssen sterben. Töte sie alle. Heil Hitler. Heil Hitler. Don't die. You understand me? We pray for this, remember? We are not gonna die. We're sitting ducks, man. Keep your head in the game. We stick together and make it out. We train for this, all right? I can't do this. Yes, you can. You have to go back to your family, and I have to get back to the love of my life. Okay? If I can't make it. Yes, you can. I'm gonna go left, and you cover me, okay? Man, where are you? Man! Jay! I'm up here! Let's go! Come on! Missy Kelsey. back already? I serve my country! I lost my legs! I lost my ability to do anything! Is this what I come back to? Your, your legs are gone. I have nothing! What's wrong with you? My, 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 my doctor said I'm gonna be stuck like this forever! Ew, I don't want to be with you. We're broken up. We're done. <laughs> you heard her. After Ben is kicked out of his own house, he is determined to defy the odds. He starts a rigorous rehabilitation journey, pushing himself to the limits. Over time, Ben saves enough money to buy prosthetic legs. Through perseverance and hard work, Ben begins to regain strength and mobility. He decides to channel his resilience into starting a business, showcasing his determination and entrepreneurial spirit. He slowly makes millions and becomes the best version of himself. Meanwhile, Deshaun, who had falsely claimed disability benefits, faces his own karma. <laughs> he is involved in a car accident that leaves him with a permanent disability. Because Deshaun is now permanently disabled, Kelsey breaks up with him because of this. Kelsey realizes breaking up with Ben was a mistake, now that he is successful and normal again. Kelsey, what are you doing here? Well, it looks like you're kind of famous now. I've been seeing you on my feed. Oh, you must be talking about my book. You have a book? Yeah, it's about how I defeated my odds. It's a bestseller right now. Wow, congratulations. Maybe we could catch up, go grab a bite to eat. Are you serious? Yeah, just like old times. Kelsey, you treated me horribly in our relationship. I've changed. That was the old me. And the second I left for war, you started hooking up with someone else? I did everything for you. I spoiled you and I loved you like no man ever will. 
You left me. You left me because I was in an accident. Ben, I promised that I could change. I don't know what I was thinking. No. No, you're only back because I'm successful. You left me when I lost. And now I'm up. <laughs> you're down, Kelsey. Goodbye. Being disloyal and choosing short-term happiness over a committed relationship can come back to bite you. When Ben overcame his struggles and became successful, Kelsey faced her own karma. Never take love for granted, as the choices that you make have consequences down the road. If you haven't already, make sure to like, comment, and share this video with your friends and family. Don't forget to check out our new merch. Your support means the world to us. Also, don't forget to check out the Tomorrow's Teachings movie posters on our website. Only available for limited time.